Good day. <clears throat> My name is uh, Zechariah Akibedo. You're welcome to lesson nine. Lesson nine, we'll be talking about web application and exploitation. <clears throat> web application and exploitation, part one. So before we delve into the web application and exploitation, there's some basic concepts that we need to get familiarized with, which has to do with the application of the assessment. So application of the assessment is a process of finding any Security weakness, technical plus or vulnerability that may exist at the on your web application. So it involves uh, active analysis of the application by simulating every possible attack <coughs> on the target web application. So a security engineer should perform the test in addition to regular network penetration to ensure that security of organization web application is is improved on. So during this testing, the tester should try to find uh, exploitable vulnerabilities and also determine how she or she can gain access. So we are going to discuss about the application security frame. So the way of application security relies on the security frame. So typically, the security frame is, is broadly classified into input validation, authentication, and authorization, session management, cryptography, configuration of management, and exception management. So as an engineer or tester, you should focus on trying to exploit this vulnerability in all areas of a web uh, security frame in order to confirm that they are secure, robust, and inaccessible. So, one of my favorite guys that one can leverage on is OAP. OAP has a very robust uh, testing guide that you can leverage on. And OAP uh, is more of a risk weighting methodology than just uh, vulnerability because OAPs have changed uh, the top 10. Um, uh, risks has changed over the years and it's to keep changing. So, for example, if we are talking about injection vulnerabilities, if you look at this, the threat agent and this, uh, uh, this uh, attack vectors and these uh, security weaknesses, despite your control, they want to gain, the threat agent want to gain access to your. Can you switch is a digital asset? And then how do you measure the impact of this on the business? So I will just quickly walk us through uh, the various uh, warp stop 10. It, as I said, it has changed over the years. It I just did it, um, the screenshot display, the warp stop 10 in 2013 and the was top 10 in 2017. So we can see there's some uh, vulnerabilities that are in both. We have injection vulnerability in both, and there's some vulnerabilities that were merged, like the insecure direct object reference or the missing function level access control. And uh, so, as I said, so many things have changed. So let me just quickly, for you to gain more insight on this uh, OWAPS uh, methodology, you can go to OWAPS.org. So I'm trying to switch over to my browser. Can go to OWAPS. OWAPS.org. Or just look for click on the so there are a lot of publication. Who else? Is that okay? Acronym for 
uh, open web application GPT project, there are a lot of publications, there are a lot of uh, guide uh, on the uh, guide, a lot of framework that you can leverage on. So you can see this is a comparison between OWAPS 2017 and OWAPS 2021. Token access, control, cryptography failures, injection, insecure design, security misconfiguration, vulnerability, vulnerable and anti components, identification, and uh, so there are new introductions in OWASP 2021, like server side request forgery wasn't there before now. So this was introduced newly. Insecure design wasn't there before now. If you look at OWASP and uh, software and data integrity failures wasn't there before now, but this was introduced in uh, 2021. And uh, some admin men like the injection. If you look at the injection vulnerability, so before now we have a cross site scripting standalone, but the cross site scripting and injection vulnerability that they match together as injection vulnerabilities. So for you to gain more insights, and a lot of documentation that you can leverage on, like the OAP testing, OAP testing guide. You can go to the download to see what you can. <clears throat> Very robust uh, documentation that you can leverage on here for you to conduct your uh, web application testing. You can look at this web testing guide. So these are the various uh, documentation available. You they are available online every time, and you can also download uh, the document version, whether the PDF uh, version or the Word document version. So let's proceed with that. So WAPS uh, org is a very powerful resource for your uh, result that you can leverage on for your web application penetration testing. So let's start with the testing for injection. How do you look up for injection? Injection can be SQL injection, can be command line injection, can be, uh, can be of recent, as close as scripting has been matched as a, as part of SQL injection. So what are the most common entry ports for SQL injection? The search page, the URI back content, the web form inputs, the public APIs, the com method, network packets. So these are the various injection points. And to, for you to identify the SQL injection entry points, you need to, uh, Look at the get parameters, post parameters, cookie parameters, referral, user agents. First of all, what is SQL agent injection? SQL injection is a form of vulnerability that allows a, an attacker to inject your web application with uh, unintended uh, SQL scripts, and also to fit the application to execute unintended uh, SQL scripting. So with SQL injection, you be able to write directly be able to download the database right from the from the web uh, uh, web GUI, and uh, you'll be able to dump the database. You'll be able to update the database, do a lot of stuff. So let's quickly do a demonstration on how to leverage an SQL injection to gain an access to application. Let's presume that you don't know the username and password. For your application, are you aware? Are you run your vulnerability scan? Maybe using your web gap or your your Nexus or your OpenVAS to conduct a vulnerability assessment. You've identified the vulnerable uh, vulnerable parts. So we're going to look at Arturo Mucha 
back an application or multi dilate or the dilate OAPs or OAP booking web. There are quite, quite a number of applications that we can play our hands with. So, for the purpose of this class, you know, in the beginning of the of the class, I told us that we need to make sure that our map is made available. So the what you need for this class work, you will need a B box. B box is a broken web, uh, is a bug, buggy web application. You can download that. So you also need your OWASP broken web applications. That definitely you need your Kali. And uh, so I think I've opened up my OWASP broken web applications. And I also open up uh, my B box. So we are going to do the demonstration shortly. So let's start with the Atromucha. Atromucha is uh, is an application is a use for demonstration purpose. I think the application is owned by IBM and uh, is a test application. Do it publicize. Uh, uh, on the, you can download it on GitHub on your system, or you can go to the site atromutual.com. Atromutual.com. So let's quickly go through the so uh, atromutual.com. Let me come here. Okay, I think this is. So if I want to know, let's presume that I've run a test. I've been able to ascertain that uh, username feed is vulnerable to SQL injection. And I want to deceive the application to think that I've entered the correct username and password. You know, uh, in SQL, you can, uh, I want to write an SQL to deceive the application to accept an empty username. And also to ignore the password feed. Because the username and password. 